Hello, my name is Jay Simmons. I'm a software engineer in the Active Directory team here at Microsoft. I'm here today to demo a new feature in the Windows Local Administrator Password Solution, aka Windows Labs, related to integration with the smart card only authentication policy. Now this talk does assume that you have some basic familiarity with Windows Labs. If you're brand new to Windows Labs, I encourage you to review our online docs and possibly watch the videos that you'll find linked there. Now, what we have on the screen is a Windows 11 pre-release OS that is domain joined to a test domain. The test domain consists of a single Windows Server 2019 DC. Uh, however, the DC is not very uh, pertinent to the demo, so we're gonna keep that off screen for the entire demo. Now, the demo is using a pre-release Windows 11 build, but you may also reproduce this demo yourself with in-market Windows 11 and Windows 10 builds, assuming that they are patched up to at least the October 2023 Patch Tuesday updates. Alrighty, let's get started. So, why does Windows Labs care or about the smart card only authentication policy? Or what is the smart card only authentication policy? So as you can see here, we, we're editing the local security policy on, the, re, on the, the demo client. And this is the policy that we're here to talk to today about. <clears throat> and it says, require Windows Hello for Business or Smart Card. Now, what that really does under the covers is that the authentication stack blocks authentications on this device when it's enabled that do not use certificate-based logons uh, using the Kerberos authentication protocol. Now that's great, that sounds like a wonderful improvement. You're blocking NTLM as well as password-based uh, authentications. Uh, the problem with Windows Labs and other local accounts though is that those, since those are local accounts, we currently only support password-based logons for local accounts. So if you were to enable this uh, previously, what it would do is it would uh, break Windows Labs in various ways. Either if you were logging in with the built-in admin account, you would be allowed to log in, but then you would be prompted via a system tray notification to change your password. If you were logging in with a non-built-in account with this policy enabled, you would be prompted to immediately change your password as part of the logon process. But then if you tried to change the password, that would fail because Windows Labs doesn't let any anybody else change the password of the local account. Now, and I just want to point out that even if you had even if you were allowed to change the password, that only would change the password locally, and it does not, which means that the password of the Windows Labs managed account would be out of sync between the managed device and the password stored in the directory. So we're going to make this better. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to do some run as ex uh, authentication examples using the local users on the device. Now, here are the local users. Uh, we're not using the built-in administrator account today. We have a Laps Admin account, which is going to be the account we'll, that will be managed by Windows Laps. We have a local admin account, which is just a random account that we will use to compare and contrast the, the new behaviors. All right, so let's configure Windows Laps. Uh, we're going to disable post authentication actions just for the purposes of the demo. Uh, we're going to enable password encryption just to be 100% sure. And we're going to configure the account to be managed as the local Laps admin account. And then last but not least, we're going to tell Windows Laps to back up the password to uh, Active Directory. Uh, I do want to point out that although we're demoing this new behavior using an Active Directory join PC, um, everything I'm describing here works identically uh, if this was an A Azure AD joined machine. So the improvements apply to both cases and they're, they're, they're definitely relevant in both scenarios. All right, so we've configured our local labs policy. And let's just go to tickle laps and tell it to make sure. 
And now we're going to retrieve the lapse password for the password that was just backed up to Active Directory. And you can see from the timestamp there that it was backed up just a few moments ago. Uh, and there is the clear text password. All right. Now, we have not yet enabled the smart card only policy at this point. So let's do an example <coughs> run as. And now for this first example, we're going to use the non Windows Labs managed account. This is not the one that Windows Labs is managing. Windows Labs is managing the Labs admin account that you can see there. So, and I know the password for this. And you can see that we have this guy right here running now as the local admin account. Now we're going to do the same thing for the Labs admin account. And I'm going to copy and paste the password from the PowerShell window. And now we have a command window running as the Labs admin account. OK, great. Now let's go back to that security policy. Let's enable the smart card only policy. We'll hit apply. OK. And then now let's rerun those those tests. We'll do the local admin account first. Now And as you can see here, it has failed. Now this is a very general purpose catch-all error message. Uh, in this case, uh, the smart card only policy constraints have kicked in and blocked us from being able to log in with that account because it was a password-based logon. So let's try it. now let's try it again with the LAPS admin account. Again, I'm going to copy the password that we saved in the directory. All right paste the password and it works so again smart code only uh, policy has been enabled it blocks the login of the non Windows Labs uh, managed account you can see that right here but the lap the Windows Labs managed account is exempted from the smart card only policy so if you if your security uh, requirements or scenarios require to use the smart card only policy. Now you have the ability to easily compose that restriction along with the Windows Labs uh, scenario and features. You don't have to choose between one or the other. Uh, last before, but not least, I want to just you know point out that, that this is the sort of feature that is has that we can do now. Now that Windows Labs is a native part of the operating system, and we can achieve much better integration uh, between the different security pieces. Um, if you have questions or, or comments, please feel free to email me, J-S-I-M-M-O-N-S, jsimmons at microsoft.com, or you can submit feedback through the feedback links that you'll find in our online documentation. Thank you.